Hey everybody, it's Fervor for Faith, and what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to do a, a short series of videos, uh, little snippets, if you will, uh, to kind of show you why you need to be reading the King James Bible. Why the King James Bible is the preserved Word of God in our language. Now, I know that there's a lot of you know things that you can go on the internet and find different resources and things like that to to get this type of confirmation the the evidence is is almost almost uh undoubtable you can't it's irrefutable you can't you know refute it uh, there's a lot of evidence out there and i'm not going to go into all of that because it's already out there on the internet and i don't feel the need to have to do that if you want to know you can go and look that stuff up but i want to highlight certain little passages in the Bible that are changed in new versions that really changes the meaning so much that you can get deceived by it and it shows how how much how much of a of a liar these new versions can be so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at Genesis 6 verse 20 and see what the King James Bible says we're gonna, we're gonna compare it to what the Message Bible says, which is one of the more popular versions nowadays. It's heavily pushed by uh, a lot of pastors and a lot of, you know, uh, organizations and things like that. It's very popular. I believe Rick Warren uses that version of the Bible. Um, so it's very popular. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what that version says and what the King James says. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our King James Bibles to Genesis chapter 6 verse 20 and it says no oh, sorry Genesis chapter 6 verse 19 through 20 sorry about that uh, and of every living thing of all flesh two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee they shall be male and female of fowls after their kind and of cattle after their kind and of creeping thing of the earth after his kind two of every sort shall come in unto thee to keep them alive okay so obviously here in chapter 6 of, of Genesis God is is commanding Noah to build the ark uh, because he told them that he's going to you know bring his wrath down on the earth for its wickedness and he says to build the ark and bring two of every kind of animal into the ark Obviously, it says male and female so that they could reproduce and repopulate the earth. Uh, but it says that every kind of animal is to be brought onto the ark. And we're going to go over that more in just a moment. But every kind of animal is to be brought into the ark by two, male and female. Now, let's see what the Message Bible says about this very same passage. Um... I'm going to go ahead and now let's look at what the Message Bible says. You are also to take two of each living creature, a male and a female, on board the ship to preserve their lives with you. Two of every species of bird, mammal, and reptile. Two of everything so as to preserve their lives along with yours. Now did you catch that? It says to bring two of every species of bird, mammal, and reptile. What? What? How, that you can't believe that that's not possible with the with we have the dimensions of the ark here in the bible you can't possibly have carried two of every species of animal on that ark it's not possible just to give you an idea of how ridiculous the notion that noah brought every type every species of animal on the ark for example birds i mean depending on who you might ask there are anywhere between 8,600 and 10,000 species of bird in the world. Um, you know, if he had to bring two of every single species on the ark, that means Noah would have to, had to have brought 20,000 birds onto the ark. You could basically fill the entire ark with birds. And then there would be no room for any of the beasts of the field or any creeping thing. I mean, it's ridiculous. You see that the Message Bible is totally perverting what the me meaning of this verse is. The King James says to bring every kind of animal, a, a, a kind of animal, onto the ark. One kind. One kind of, you know, of this bird. One kind 
of, you know, this, you know, lizard or whatever. One kind, not one species. There are many different, different lizards that are different species of lizard, okay? It, it, there's like, I, I believe someone said that there's like 18 different definitions of the word species, okay? It's ridiculous. The, the Bible does not say that he brought every species of 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 beast or every species of of bug or bird or whatever. That's ridiculous. And that's something that people that people say. I remember I was at work and they listened to, you know, secular radio. And this guy's an atheist and and he makes no qualms about being an atheist. Uh, and he makes fun of of the Bible and everything like that. Typical of a lost person. And he he goes on to say, you know, how how it's ridiculous to believe that that, that Noah brought every species of animal on the ark. I mean, if you believe that, you're nuts. And I agree with him. If you believe that, you don't know what the Bible says. Now, I just wanted to bring that up because I think it's important to show that, that these new versions, they're changing it. I mean, that's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie, bringing every species of bird, mammal, and reptile onto the ark. That's a, that's a bold-faced lie. Noah didn't do that. Noah brought... brought Brought two of every kind of animal. I just wanted to point that out because this, these new versions are taking the word of God and they're changing it to make it a lie and to make it look ridiculous to the to the secular lost world. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.